this point we can go ahead and see the historic period living surface, which was right, right about in here, this medium brown soil. And then what happened in 1868, the fort had burned. And when it burned, it mixed the, the ash, the mortar, mixed in with the soil, and then redeposited on top of the, historic, the living surface. And then over the last 140 years or so, the wind has blown in soil and redeposited on top of that event. So everything here is from the 20th century well, late 19th century to early 20th century. That's, that's how much time we're looking at, probably around about 140 years or so, right between here and here. This is a prime example of stratigraphy, which archaeologists have to be very, very um, well-skilled in trying to uh, deconstruct what you're looking at. The great thing about stratigraphy and this wall pro profile is it tells us when we need to stop digging. Uh, in this case, we know that if we keep on digging down, digging down to about here, as we're close to the fort, this is when we see the burn event. But you know what? We don't have to get too excited yet. We can keep on digging, 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 because really the artifacts and what's going to be important to telling us more about the people who lived here is going to start right, at, right before that burn event, which is right here. So I'm expecting that if we go inside the fort, this right here, this level inside the fort, is going to be our living surface of the 18, 1865-1866, right in this location.